It's reported at the time that you missed WrestleFest 91 in St. Louis at Bush Stadium, an event that appeared to mark the blow off for your rivalry with Earthquake. Um, unfortunately, it's reported that you missed the event due to ag- re aggravating your neck injury. Uh, so Jim Duggan took your place in a victory over Earthquake. Uh, was there one particular instance at this time that hurt your neck, or was it just something that had been bugging you for a while? Accumul- accumulative. You know, it's just kept, you know, just flaring up, and I, I try my best to fight it. But uh, yeah, I miss that, man. I hated missing that. Yeah, it's it's a bummer because it's a big event. It's a, as I said, it's a Bush Stadium, so it was like you know all the build up between you and Earthquake was kind of leading to this moment, and then it's just kind of you know never really never really came to fruition. But yeah. it's what it is, you know. And I know that that injury still plagues you to this day. Yeah, it does. Uh, uh, was it better following your surgery in '89, or just tolerable enough to work? It was better, but every time I gave a DDT. I would feel electrical current go through my body. Wow. It just, and it shocked me each time I did a DDT. But I couldn't quit doing those. And no, no. I mean, it was, that was your whole thing. Now, is that something that followed you for, you know, even up until 93, 96, every single time you oh, dropped yeah. somebody? Yeah, every fucking time. It had to make you a little bit nervous, right? It scared me. Yeah. It really scared me. Like, like feeling those electrical currents. I know me personally, I'd be like, when's the time going to happen when I drop somebody and this current gives me a full body shock and I can't stand up? Exactly. Exactly, man. I was scared to death. Dude, terrifying. But like in I, your defense. I kept doing it. <laughs> and, well, like, why wouldn't you at the time, really? I mean, there's, yeah, there's I had to. you know millions of dollars on the line. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. this is this is your gimmick. Have to do it. Now, at the time, what are the doctors saying to you here in 91 as you continue to struggle? Well, they're telling me to get the fuck out of the ring. Oh, Lord, that's not an option. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, that was their uh, remedy for it, was to get out of the ring. Quit doing that. I mean, did you ever consider it at that point? No. Now, here in 91, you know, you'd had a nice career, and I'm, I'm sure you'd made quite a lot of money up to this point. Was there a thought like, okay, in five years I'll get out, or like anything of that nature? No, no, man. You were thinking, I'm I'm doing going. this till the wheels come off. Exactly. Hard to blame you, dude. I mean, when you're on top like that, you're making good money, it's like, ugh, boy, it would be really tough to stop. Yeah, yeah. 